Hello my friend, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com. In today's video, I would like to show you how to create a custom opt-out link inside your ConvertKit emails. Now, as you know, every email has a single unsubscribe link, and that's at the very bottom of your emails. But what if you wanted to give your audience an opportunity to opt out of only a certain type of emails? Not your entire list, not your entire account, but just a certain type of email. Now, this could be a launch sequence, it could be a welcome sequence, it could be a five-day e-course, it could be anything. It could also be just a broadcast that you send out on a certain topic. Or let's say you have a website that teaches people all you need to know about gardening. Okay. So maybe you want to give folks an option to opt out of information about gardening tools, but they can stay on your list because they want to learn about different kinds of plants and how to take care of plants and whatnot. But you, they don't want to know about the tools because they already have the tools. So as you can see, there are many reasons why you would want a custom opt-out link, custom unsubscribe link. Now, before I show you how to create that link, you need to know for yourself where you want that link to be, because based on where that link will be, the steps will be different, all right? So there are two places where you can place your custom opt-out link. One, which is path one, is simply inside your email. So when you're writing your email, you're going to create a link trigger and set it up like that plain and simple and I can show you how to do that. But path two is if you want to have it as a standard in all your emails. All right. So if you have, let's say, 25 emails inside a sequence, it can get pretty tedious to go in and set it up for each email. You can do it, but there is an automated way to do it. And that's path two. And that involves putting this custom opt-out link inside a custom template. I will show you how to do that in video 23. So look out for video 23. But in this video, I'm going to show you the quick and easy path one. Now for path one, you're going to need these steps. First, you're going to create a thank you page. Then you're going to create a tag. Basically, it's a tag that tells you that so-and-so person has chosen to opt out of that sequence. Three, you create a link trigger. And if you don't know what link triggers are, I highly recommend you watch video number one. The first video I ever made was about link triggers because they're very useful. And finally, you're going to add that link trigger inside your email. All right. So let me show you how to do this. First, you are going to need a thank you page. Now, of course, this is optional because instead of a thank you page, you can just choose any URL on your website. But I think it makes sense because if somebody is opting out, then this is the page they come to, a page that says, look, your preference has been updated. You will no longer receive emails about such and such topic. So this is an actual page I created for my folks, for my audience, when I, whenever I invite them to a live training. And something I did recently, I did a live training and um, talked about email sequences. At the very bottom, I gave my audience a choice. And it says, hey, do you want updates? If you, you don't want updates about live trainings, if that's the case, then click here. So when they click here, it takes them to a thank you page. Basically says, look, your preference has been noted. But wait, is that an error? You still actually want to get live training updates? Then go over here and it brings them to my live training sign up page. Okay, and they can sign up over here. So you got your thank you page. Next, you will jump into your ConvertKit account into automations page and you're going to create a link trigger. 
and that's also where you'll create a tag. So a link trigger is basically when somebody clicks a link, a tag is added. Okay, so I'm going to select this and say updates no training emails and then my destination URL is going to be the URL of the thank you page I'm going to plug that in here and then I'm going to add a tag I'm going to create a new tag called no emails on about better live training that's it save the rule here next what you're going to do is wherever you want that opt-out link to show up you're going to set it up there you can do it inside of broadcasts or inside of sequences. So let's say I have the sequence and at the very bottom I want that to show up. So I'm going to write a bit of text that tells them exactly what they're getting into. And here's an example. Opt out of emails about live trainings but receive other emails on email marketing and ConvertKit. And here I have created a link for opt-out. Basically, I'm going to show you what to do here. I'm going to unlink it so I will show you how to set it up from scratch. So you highlight opt-out here, click on this chain, insert link. Now you may be tempted to type in the URL right here. Do not do that because then it's not gonna work. Instead, click on link trigger and find the one that you just created. No training emails. Text is opt out and you can really write anything here in this in this bit here. And click insert. That's it. When you click on browser, you can see that not only do you have your official unsubscribe link here at the very bottom, but now you have a special opt out link so people can have a choice they can choose out of choose to opt out of a certain type of emails all right if you're going to put it here then you will have to copy this bit here and put it into every email sequence that you've every email in the sequence that you have okay so if i have 25 emails i'm going to put it in into every email at the very bottom but what if you wanted to have that opt-out text automatically show up everywhere you have your unsubscribe link? I'm going to show you how to do that in path 2, which is video 23. So look out for that. In the meantime, if you have any follow-up questions on path 1, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video tutorial. And as you know, I always welcome any requests you may have for a free tutorial. So if you have any questions and you want me to make a tutorial for you, just click this button at the very bottom of my website and let me know um, what you need help with and I'll be happy to take care of you in that way. Thank you so much. All the best. Bye for now.